So you can proceed to exhibit triple M2. Just put the test bullet number on the record. This is a, this photograph depicts the marks that I have seen in respect of the exhibit and the test bullet marked 369TV4. This groove I've given it just an imaginary number, call it groove one. Uh, this is a complete metal jacket bullet, test bullet, compared with an exhibit bullet. When the, when the surface contour is studied, the raised line can be seen at the bottom. This is at the bottom of the profile. This line is followed by a ridge on top. So Lieutenant Colonel Acerewo, he is what? He's literally going through his second test bullet, which is the TB4, and it is a CMJ bullet. Remember, the first one was the TB8, and that one was an FMJ. Why is he testing one of each? Listen, there's no more, and there's no, <laughs> can't find my words. I don't think there's any mythology to this madness. What I do know, and I saw this in a comment yesterday, said birds of the same feather a flock together and i said you know what that is that is so true why did i expect anything different from Sereo? why what why would i expect anything different what's in it for him to be different than all the others in the department um it's devastating but the point of this audio is i wanted you to pay attention to judge rata i mean it's incredible the absolute silence, the note taking, the verification from the screen over there, the B-mid section, and looking down at his papers and putting the papers right in his eyes and then continuing to scribble notes very ferociously. And then I ask myself, if Dave takes the stand, are we going to experience this exact same ferocious not note taking student? Non disruptive non-condescending zero hands thrown up and down no sign of any impatience i'm going to leave this here and and then i'll come back obviously when dave comes back and we'll pick it up from there to see if he was able to maintain the same steamer okay when is the defense's expert that is going to be interesting absolutely interesting but we know the reality. <laughs> so let's get back to listening to more about the ridges, the valleys, and, you know, the valley of the shadow of death. Somebody said, I can't believe you said the valley of the shadow. Listen, he's talking about a valley, okay, with grooves and imaginary groove number one. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, lighten the mood because the Ningi. And then the other thing that stands out to me is... Bingabi's over there, okay, accused number three, four, and five. The level of I'm going to pay attention here. Are they going to be giving master classes to the Evan Gabi's there in the prison? Because I don't know. I think this is a lot of information to just be handing out to Ingabi's. But but before you come for me, I know, I know it's part of their defense. They've got to master this thing. And hey, here is Cero giving a whole free master class. So Somebody else said, Baloy doesn't even know what questions to ask. <laughs> he, he's so dumbfounded. He, he doesn't know anything to ask. And it is so true. All Baloy wants to say is, can you just read it into the record? Read all that jibber jabber, okay? Read the jibber jabber into the record because I'm not learning about striations. I can see the defense team. They entirely, you know, ate this lingo up. I can't be bothered. I cannot be bothered. But you know what? Before I digress, let's go right ahead and continue listening on. It is the same. Uh, when I say it is the same, I don't say it is microscopically identical. Uh, as I've already indicated, that ballistics is not based on the fact that the two marks which are being compared should be microscopically identical to make a positive match. But the degree of similarity which exist between those marks should be greater than the degree of dissimilarity. Let me stop you right there, Cyril. Let me t stop you right there. <laughs> Let me tell you something for free. The defense is going to hammer you for this jibber-jabber that you just said. 
What do you mean when you say something is the same? You don't mean that it is microscopically identical. But you know what? You know what? I I, I will give you a point for that. I mean, you're a good salesperson. You you're selling your dava, okay? The thing is, it just doesn't sound logical. And don't forget, science is what. <laughs> Nisi, come on now. Let us know again. Science is the art of accuracy, consistency. <laughs> I can't remember the third one right now, but okay. Make sure you drop it in the comment section down below. But Nisi told us over and over and over again last week. Now, Mr. Ballistic expert, analyst, scientist, team leader coming and saying to us, when I say it's the same, you better believe me when I say it's the same. Okay. It doesn't mean it's microscopically identical because, you know, this is where this is the struggles. I guess he's trying to make account for the struggles that happened last week. Where And then we have Judge Rata saying, if you want to see it, you will see it. And if you don't want to see it, you won't see it. Th this is it right here. And I bet you, cameraman, you let us down. This was your moment. This was your moment to show us Judge Rata's face. I bet you he was smiling from ear to ear hearing about this microscopical, identical, dun dun nonsense. But... He goes on to say, you see, ballistics is not based on the fact that the two marks which are being compared should be microscopically identical to make a positive match. But the degree of similarity, come on now, should be greater, okay, than the degree of dissimilarity. Now, that sounds quite guessworky for me. It sounds wishy-washy for me. It sounds non-scientific it sounds like person a might see that the great the difference of similarity is higher okay that's why we see mangena identifying bullet number five and bullet number nine and we see uh Sereo ident Sereo identifying bullet number four and bullet number eight it, it depends on whose eyes looking at okay they say beauty lies in the eyes what yeah Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Okay, you guys were laughing at me because I said that if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, and sounds like a duck, then it is a duck. Of course, I got that wrong. But you get the gist of what I was saying. Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. So you might see the striations. I might not see the striations. But guess what? I'm going to write on my report that I see the striations. And if that results in your client getting a life sentence, that's none of my business. I've done my job and submitted my report and your client is found guilty. That's a you problem. That's not a me problem because I saw the striations. Okay. And we know Judge Rata loves it when the state representatives see what they see, whether it's imaginary or not. This, to be honest, is absolutely devastating. But I bet you, I bet you when we come back tomorrow, this is going to be the foundation of the defense's argument. This sentence right there. And I know Miss is going to come through with the science definition again. I'm sure it's going to be like, you're, you're, you're kidding me right now. I do not accept this. Okay. This is what's going to happen. So that's my prediction. Let me know if I have it right or wrong. I'll be interested to hear. But let's continue listening on. Let me see what other <sighs> strange but true things he puts on the record. How many striations can you identify? I could identify three. So I must emphasize in respect of TB4 that the transfer of Max uh, did not happen at the same, to the same magnitude as on TB8. And it doesn't mean that the marks, when, 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 when another shot was fired, the marks were not, were, were not the same in the firearms. The marks are always the same, but it is just a, a question of transfer to another medium. Yeah. There are various circumstances involved which affect the transfer of marks from the firearm. They are well documented because they've been discovered through empirical studies. So in this case, the transfer of marks from the firearm to, 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 to test number TB8 was better than to TB, test number TB4. But TB, TB4 is still showing that 
this is the correct fire Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What? <laughs> what? I, I, I don't think he's going to survive the cross examination. He literally said, okay, so TB4 and TB8. It's very different because they're never going to be identical because that's how it is. You know, there are many different circumstances. It's the same gun. It's the same gun. It's the same firearm. But, you know, the marks are not the same. The ones for TB8 are better, though. But TB4 still has the marks showing that they are from the same firearm. And I'm just thinking, oh, my God, I'm sure it was going to have him for breakfast. Thank goodness Mshololo is last because, oh, by the time he gets to Mshololo, Ngomezulu, Ramsipili, Mnisi, oh, Mnisi, oh, dear, that's going to be four days, max, because he's the one with the budget approval. And then from Mnisi, is going to be Ngomalo, Uztulele, and then it's going to be Mshololo. By the time he gets to Mshololo, he'll be exhausted. He will be drained. Because right now, oh my God, he sounds like he's giving a, you know, a, theor a theoretical lecture. Okay. And then <laughs> the defense team is the practical <laughs> that he didn't know that he needed. Okay. It's the practical where he's going to have to prove all this nonsense he's talking about. Because I say, wow, what? None of this addresses the concerns of the defense team. This is very, very, very similar to when Hulse was on the stand, couldn't explain things properly, and then they brought Stain back from retirement, resignment, retirement, whichever one of the two. And then Stain came and made all this noise and told us that um, it's plus two hours and WhatsApp had WhatsApp calls. It's the same thing. It's just we're just going to keep switching departments in the police stations but now we're at the ballistics department and it's just sounding more and more ridiculous the more they keep bringing these witnesses. Baloi, please give us a break. Give us a break. We, the people of the jury, we're tired, okay? The unfiltered jury, we're tired. All we want to know, I've said it before, I'll say it again for the record, my lord. One, where are the cartridges? If you're saying it's a 9 millimeter, that's okay. Where are the cartridges? Give, give us the cartridges. We're good with that. Secondly, what was the position that Senzo was in when he was shot? I need you to recreate that, Mangana. Okay, I need you to do the, the, the Oscar Pistorius case and draw up everything and build a whole room if you have to. I need to see that. Thirdly, why did Mangana have the bullet? Why did Mangana have everything? Why did, he, why did he go to Cleveland to pick up the gun? And after he picked it up, why did he keep it? And why is your affidavit signed last year? And it could have been signed last year. It can say last year. I mean, we can all hear you say it was signed last year. But how do we know it was not signed last week? How do we know? Because there's a commissioner who signed it? Because it was commissioned? I'm still not convinced. Last question. It feels as though Usenzo Meiwa, may his soul rest in peace, died inside a police station. This is exhausting. But you know what? Mr. Serowo seems like he can sell ice to an Eskimo. So let's keep listening on to this jibber jabber. As I've already explained by law that this chart should be interpreted within the context of pattern matching. Since pattern matching is a well-recognized system, very old system that has been in existence for more than 100 years. Even when the literature is perused, it will indicate that this is a very old system and it's currently being used. It's not only used in South Africa. The CMS is in certain countries are in the process of implementing it. The, the the writers and the researchers of forensic ballistics, from time to time, when you read your, their journals, articles, they acknowledge the, the existence of the pattern matching system. Now, an image has been handed up by the defense expert. It's exhibit triple L3. I can see it, my lord. Um, <coughs> it says striation marks on bullets. 
exhibit bullet 2172678 stroke A2 test bullet different fire what is your comment uh, it uh, what I can say is that as I've already explained that ballistics is based on the degree of correspondence which means that the the total weight of correspondence over the dissimilarities will determine whether a positive identification has been made. This means that in a positive identification, there will be similarities to a high degree, and there will also be dissimilarities to a very low degree. Yes. On tool marks known to have been produced by different tools, there will be differences to a very high degree. Yes. And there, there may be a small fraction of similarities. But the differences will outweigh that fraction of similarities. Based on the strength of the dissimilarities, one is able to exclude a particular tool mark from being produced by a particular tool. So this is more or less the representation of a known non-match. The, the, two, the two tool marks were produced by different tools with a very small measure of similarities between them. Uh, to reach, uh, during comparison, to, to, to make a positive identification This kind of similarity from tool marks produced by different tools must be exceeded by far. The, if, if the focus was only on one groove in demonstrating the known non match, it is very incorrect because we don't, know, <coughs> we don't know anything about the other groups. One can only be able to comment or be in a position to state that the differences outweigh the similarities when he has access to all the, all the groups. That determination cannot be made on a single group. What I can say is that the degree of similarity that I have demonstrated in respect of the exhibit and the tests that I examine, it outweighs this agreement by far. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Serrero declared war. <laughs> he literally said Dave's work, his work, is by far more accurate than what dave has produced because what dave has produced is inaccurate and if you're wondering who dave is on this channel we call him um to okay um to his work has been reduced to nothing in fact he's labeled it incorrect and he said that his work is far superior than what Umlung were to produce for the defense team because there is no way you can use a different firearm to do these tests because we don't know how many grooves the other firearm has. Yeah, we don't know how many grooves the other firearm has. And I'm sitting here saying, you know what, I, I didn't pay attention to the whole groups conversation. But what I am paying attention to is that that's 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 a really bold, bold, bold sentence. You know, I remember when Stain would say, nope, nope, I am not commenting on somebody else's work. Nope, nope, nope. I can't comment on somebody else's work. Pinky Darling also said the same thing. Nope, I'm not commenting on somebody else's affidavit. I can only comment on the Vodacom items. Sereo said, I'm diving into the deep end and I'm here to tell you, I'm putting it all on the line, everything out there. 
Dave Umlunguetu. You are incorrect. Ooh, and that is on mic drop. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts, your predictions, what's going to go down. For sure, Ngomizulu is not going to address any of this. Ngomizulu didn't take any notes, okay? Ngomizulu has his focus. Ngomizulu is sticking to his script. Ramasipili will pick it up. That's my prediction. Ramasipili will tear everything that... Um, Sirewo has said because he's our tech guy and then Umnis is going to take it back to the science okay he's going to say show me the accuracy and then Mumalo is going to just tone it down and he's going to smash him and hammer him and oh my god he's going to reduce him to absolute nothing and then Umsholo is going to remind him of his qualifications and that he is not in a position to say something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. It is going to be fire in the courtroom today. Make sure that you make sure you turn on your subscription. Make sure you turn on your notifications, not subscription. Make sure you turn on your notifications, okay? So that when I drop my analysis, as you know, a sense of me, you are an analyst. <laughs> As a sense of me, you are trial analyst, okay? I'm not an expert. I, by no means, I'm not an expert, but I'm an analyst, okay? If you know, you know. If you don't know, forget about it. If you've made it this far in the video, you absolutely have my heart. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not yet subscribed, I, I know you're not subscribed because YouTube told me, okay? YouTube told me 65% of the people, they search for you, they find you, they watch, they don't subscribe. That's all I'm asking. Hit that subscription button. It's okay. It's okay. If you don't want to comment, I'll, I'll be okay with that. But I need that subscription. That's my big ask of you this week. So please help me to reduce that 65% down to 40%. Okay? We're, we're being conservative. I would like it to go down to zero. But, you know, I can't push. I can't push too hard. So thank you so much for watching. And, you know, if you're part of my uh, members community, thank you so much. Your support means the world to me. And that is it from me today. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you where on my next upload. Sensi Unfiltered. Checking out. Jane, catch you on my next upload. My lord, I mean, that's it. Yeah. <laughs>